everyone welcome to brush tips with sherry home edition so today we are home of course let me adjust this lighting okay we are home of course because of the order to stay at home so we are coming to you live as we paint this is going to be a quick painting because this is actually going on our um, Facebook page, the Watch WCTV page, and we will be sending it out to all the other networks. So, let's get started. The background is kind of crazy because my house is go every room. We're going through every single room, so every room is kind of in shambles. And Vance isn't playing Legos. And Vance isn't playing Legos. So, we are going to go ahead and get this started right now. We are going to paint this cute little koala. Except for the pink background, I'm going to go ahead and do a blue background. I figured we'd focus on a kid painting today um, just because it's really easy and all of our kiddos need something to do. So here we are going to start. So I have blue here. Oop. I guess I should have brought more easel. So we're going to use our big daddy brush. Okay. And let's get started. Blue, phthalo green, yellow, white, and black. We're going to grab this blue here, and I am just going to paint this whole thing blue, whole background blue, just like this. This is a gessoed canvas. Um, honestly, about 10 seconds ago, I was making banana bread, well, not banana bread, banana cake, and then I'm putting um, a caramel pecan sauce on top of it <laughs> because why not right why not that's what we all need okay so here we go make sure you hit your sides and your tops hopefully this lighting is okay that's kind of weird with the background light I guess I could have gone and painted like in my bedroom or something because that seems to be the only room that's kind of put together so, this is a great painting for even adults because adults love to paint koala bears. It is a very popular painting for everybody to paint. And honestly, if you're painting with your kids, it just makes this even better. If you need to, turn your painting to the side like this, and then you can hit this like this. just kind of helps a little bit um, get the whole thing covered. He said because he has to whisper in. And I told him. Okay, go play. ask him to play with you, please. Vance. Sorry, guys. I said I'll play, but we have hey, to Hey, hey. Okay. Play upstairs. Can you do that then? Get off your computer? Sorry. Upstairs. Well, upstairs. So the other time I did this for the TV show, I made them go outside, and I probably should have done that today, so. But, I mean, we're all here in the same boat, right? Everybody's struggling with little kiddos at home if they have them, or bigger kiddos at home who just seem to be, uh, I think everyone's kind of getting on everyone's nerves sometimes. I should probably make them get up and get dressed and function like humans instead of just letting everyone be lazy. All right, so now that we have this all painted, we need to let it dry. So I'm gonna hit these sides because see how I forgot to do that side there? So we're gonna go ahead and um, hit that side. And then we obviously have this side too. So let's hit that side too. All Just like that. I don't usually do a lot of like painting focus towards kids. Um, Honestly, this was one of the only paintings I had here, so. 
I have not gone to the studio in a week. Kind of been staying home and just hanging out. So I'm gonna let this dry. So obviously now is the time to, even if you're at home, you could grab a blow dryer and you can blow dry it or you can, um, you know, go let the dog out, make a cup of coffee, do something, just let it dry. If you wanna sit here and watch the paint dry, go for it, sit here and watch the paint dry. I don't know where my apron went. Oh well. Oh well. You can also sing, let it dry. You're okay. The boys have already stood here and argued, so you sneaking in the house is okay. <laughs> Nick is sneaking in the house. It's creeping past me like the Pink Panther. All right, so this is drying pretty well. I have a couple wet spots here where the paint is a little bit thicker. And now I have paint on my hands. So where is my chalk? We're gonna need this chalk here, okay? If you have chalk at home, great. If not, get a pencil. A pencil will be just fine too. So we really, really like to use the name brand chalk here because it honestly, it, it works a lot better on your wet canvas. If you're using cheap chalk, it's not, it doesn't show up really good. And it's almost like a pencil. It's really hard to get off. A pencil is not really hard to get off. I shouldn't say it because you can erase a pencil, but the chalk you can't. It almost like scratches your canvas if you use cheap chalk. Mm -hmm. Make sure you grab some good name brand chalk. This is almost dry. We got a couple little spots and you can see where they're wet just by the reflection of the light it's it makes it shiny did i forget to do that side oh no i didn't know it was just the way the light was hitting it <laughs> so oh my gosh the cat is outside playing on the swing set <laughs> we have an outside cat he's kind of crazy he's actually really mean if anyone has good like tips on how to make the cat from pet cemetery nice please just let us know we have a crazy cat here oh look i used this canvas before <laughs> it's when we make trees right here we go dry 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 okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the body on all right now the body is a you you can make it as fat as you want. It could be a quarantine um, koala and be nice and thick and fat after a day all of its quarantine snacks. Or <laughs> it could just be a skinny one. I know there's a lot of people that are taking this time now to detox their bodies because they're home and they're um, hanging out. So it could be a skinny one. So you make it however you want. Maybe I'll go a little bit rounder because he's cute round. And then you're going to do almost like a triangle but rounded so you see how we've got that like rounded triangle there that's what we're gonna go with for the head when we go to paint it we're gonna pull it this way a little bit so it's okay to have these like cheeks here and then like a rounded head want some really big koala ears when the zoo opens back up we can all go hang out with the koalas and then we want some cute little koala feet there's like a tiny little spider crawling across my painting haha <laughs> i don't even think you could see it can you see it it's right on the chalk right now it's right there <laughs> i don't want to kill it I'll see if I can get it to come off onto the napkin. Oh, there he is hanging. You see him hanging? See our little... This is the star of the show right here. Let me see if I can get it real close. Do you see him hanging right there? I don't even... Oh, he's right, right here. I'll put him on the chalk. 
Do you see him on the chalk? That's hilarious. Okay, I don't like to kill spiders because I actually like spiders. We're going to let it go. Okay, next. This is the excitement that we have during our quarantine. Okay, another little foot here. And then when we go to do the hands, we're actually going to paint the hands in, the arms, because they're just going to be painted like that. Okay, so we're going to do that with paint. The very first thing we have to do is we need to make gray. Okay, so gray is black and white. This guy needs to move or he's going to get smashed. We'll turn him that way. And, oh, you know what? I'm going to use a smaller brush here. I'm use this brush instead. So we're going to take some black, very little bit. We don't need a ton. We're going to move it over to the white, and we're just going to mix. Mix, mix, mix. You never know what happens here at Brush Tips. <laughs> um, sometimes we do crazy things, like invite spiders to be our guests. So then we're just going to start to paint, okay? Fill this guy in, make him super darling, super cute. Pull in a little blue through. My blue must be a little wet still. Oops. Okay. We'll work with that. Color it all in. Even if the blue is still a little wet like mine, I'm just going to let this dry. And I'm just going to keep making some gray here. And we're going to come around here. Hit this cute little guy. Bring this guy down here. Super fun. This is a favorite of a lot of people. Sorry if I seem like I'm kind of hunched over. Normally I'm not at this angle when I'm painting, obviously. But today we are. I don't know what the weather was like to go paint outside, but maybe we could have. I don't know if it's too cold, too hot, or... I don't think it's too hot since it's March. So fill all this in here. We're going to let this guy dry real quick. Hopefully real quick. I'm going to bring... So do you see how the face is kind of like the body is on top? I want you to bring the face back out. So, I want you to, I just used white just because I need to cover up this blue now. I want you to just bring that back out on top. Okay. I should make the kids bring me a blow dryer. Like, hey guys, bring me a blow dryer. Now I'm going to let this dry. Oh, I'm going to do the ears real quick. Okay, so we're going to do some ears here. There we go. Perfect. Flatten out those ears a little bit. Make this super cute. And I'm going to put the feet on. I probably shouldn't put the feet on yet, but I'm going to. Round it out. Round it out. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Round these guys out one more time. Make them nice and smooth edges. I know we're going to go around it with the black. Dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. Dry, dry, dry. Super fast. Do you hear those kids upstairs? They are. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're like destructing the house. They're taking out, like, serious Lego bins or something. I don't even know what's going on. That's crazy. They're cleaning up that mess. All right, let this dry. 
Oh, my house is starting to smell like bananas. I have a banana cake in the oven, and then I'm making a caramel sauce on the stove right now. I'm gonna add some pecans too, and then we're gonna make a caramel pecan sauce to go on top of the banana cake. Yum. Super excited to eat it. Then I'm gonna take a big scoop of vanilla ice cream, and I'm gonna put it on top of that cake, and I'm going to eat it. Yes, I'm going to eat it. Maybe I'll make some extra caramel sauce to drizzle on top of the ice cream, like hot fudge, but it all melts down. I think that's the best choice right now, actually. And that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, come on, koala dry. While this koala is drying, why don't we make the leaves in the background? So I've got this other little brush here. Do we see? cute little guy okay we're gonna take some green and some yellow and mix those together grab a little scoop of white and add it to it you can see where it changes the white changes that color dramatically even just that little tiny bit of white really really changes that color and the bamboo they eat eucalyptus we're going to add this eucalyptus on here. Stop. Resume. And then just keep going. Doo, doo, doo. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cute. So, so cute. And just keep going. We're going to have one over here. Now you could take a ruler and absolutely space these out to where they're all even. Um, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Like I just did, I just kind of winged it. If you want a little bit lighter, make it a little lighter. And then all I'm doing here, let's show you how we're doing this here. Every other side. Yum. I'm thinking about that cake. <laughs> I'm like randomly talking to myself. Yum. Yum. I'm thinking about that cake. That cake better be good though. So here we go. Just keep going. If you need to fill in these a little bit better. So when I do the leaves, I just like quickly put my brush and then pull down. Brush, brush. Okay. Just kind of play around with it. If you have to practice on the back, it's okay to practice on the back. See how I'm doing this? Okay, do we see this guy? You could even add it and make it a little bit lighter. Add some green to that, or some white, more white to that. Okay, so now that I feel like this guy is pretty dry, we're gonna go back over him. We'll take this white and take a little bit of black, mix it all together to make some gray. I definitely need to come up with a better background than this, these windows here. Last week was okay because I was in the other room. So you're going to want to leave a little bit of space right here. This is going to be where his um, white spot is going to be. So I just grab this black and I'm just putting this white spot in with the black just because I want to show you where that white is going to be. So leave all this area right here. Don't paint that again. We're going to paint that white. Okay. 
And of course, you can make this any gray color that you want. If you want your panda or koala bear, if you want it to be a panda bear, make it a panda bear. But if you want your koala bear to be a little bit darker gray, absolutely make it darker gray. Just add some black in there. Now look, I'm two different colors. That's okay. Just add some, add some color here. Add some color here. Spread out some of this right here. Perfect. I love it. Oh, I thought I still had the caramel sauce boiling. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I smell it. And just paint this guy all gray here. Or girl, it could be a girl koala. You can make a girl koala too. And again, bring that head on top of that body. Okay, this is the important part here. If you have the body on top of the head, it doesn't work. It looks silly. Okay, we're gonna let this dry again. Okay. And let's fill this in gray. Oops. Since it's blue. And then I'm going to rinse my brush. And I'm going to come with the black. So I'm going to rinse that smaller brush again. I want to do some of this black outlining while the other part dries before we add the white. So we're going to use this brush right now. And we're going to take this black. And I just really lightly want you to outline the head. the ears, okay, ears, then the face. So I'm not going to go into the ear. I want the ear to kind of sit on top of the, um, the koala here, his head, instead of being, I want it to be part of it instead of separating it with a line. Okay. Separate this body here. This brush. I don't have my good brushes here. I do actually. I just haven't pulled them out. I shouldn't say I don't have them here. I do have them. I actually got myself new ones. And I just haven't pulled them out yet, so this is what we're getting right here. Yay! Plus, I think my paint's drying up a little bit, so we're just going to wet it. If you feel like your paint isn't moving, definitely wet it. Put his little bum on. Little koala bum. Outline these little feet. Outline these little feet. And we need to put these cute little pads on. All of us have cute little pads. Does everyone see this? Okay, good. And then a cute little pad right here, cute little toe pad right here. Another cute little toe pad. Another cute little toe pad, cute little toe pad, cute little toe pad. I don't really know how much time I have left. I have a timer on the on my watch going right now, but okay. Eyeballs and nose. Eyeballs super easy, just ovals. Let me put this here so that I do it the right way. 
you have to balance your finger here or draw it on with your chalk. Draw this one on, color it all in. I wish I had smell vision and I could turn this yummy, yummy cake into a smell vision for you. Same thing with the nose, it's just like a big triangle. My gray is still a little bit wet. Rounded sides. My nose is so big. Oh my gosh, this looks so crazy. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> right? We're gonna let that dry. It's so weird not having the counter right in front of me, so I don't know how long we have. And if I were to ask on this guy, then she's gonna go on the phone too, and it'll just be a big mess. So we're just gonna wing it, and when she dings, then we know it's time's up, right? We're gonna fill this in white. Give this koala a cute little white chest. Cutie little guy right here. Feather it down here. Then we need to color in his little ears. Give us some nice white ears on the inside. Oh my gosh, I seriously need my good brushes. Next time, right? Next time. This does not really look like that one, but it's okay. <laughs> oh well. We're working with wet paint here, and who knows the time frame. Okay, so now we need to make the arms. We're going to grab this brush, and we're going to make the arms. So I want you to pull down here and bring it down on this side of the paws, okay? Then the little hands. We gotta make the little hands here, okay? I just kind of round it out a little bit. And you can definitely use um, chalk. It's okay to use chalk during this time. And there it is. There's the timer. It's going off. Stop. Okay, so finishing touches. This is going to be a quick little 30 second finishing touch. What we're going to do is we're going to add some white to the eyes, a little bit of white to the nose, and bring this guy alive. Okay, so just real quick. Then bring a little mark right here. Put a little dot right there. Do a little mark right here. Put a little dot right there. Look at how cute he's looking. So cute. And then I want you to own it. If you're happy with your painting, definitely take the time to own this painting. What we do, all of us awesome artists, we grab our brushes or Sharpie or whatever. And then we come on in and we hit this here with a nice initial. And voila, we have kind of a koala. <laughs> Take your time when you're painting, obviously. And thank you all for tuning in. Please, please, please watch us again. And we'll see you all soon. Have an awesome, awesome day.